kids and I dropped out of Sally off a couple minutes ago in front of Independence Hall. That way she could jump in line, see if we can get a timed tour ticket. And well, here she is. Hey, so I think we got here a little bit too late. Okay. Just kidding. We got tickets for noon. We should have okay. at 8.40. They said to get there before 8.30. Yeah. But I mean, hey, it's like midday, so. That's fine. It's about, what, three hours from now. Yeah. Um, nine o'clock, right around the corner. Liberty Bell's right here. We'll get So why don't we go jump in line check it out and while we're in line we can probably google we'll find some other things to do that's in the area use google maps social yeah. media friends. let's get walking we got about two hours on the meter so we'll have some time but we will have to replenish before we go on for the tour sounds good good let's do it so i'm using google maps right now to try to find somewhere for us to go in the meantime that's nearby so we have the line for the liberty bell we have the betsy ross house like a few blocks up and then elfritz alley i think that'll be cool to check out it's one of the oldest they say it's one of the oldest like cobblestone alleys oh ah, cool um to see, so I think that'd be cool to go see, and then we can make a round to Franklin Square, Sounds grab good. some lunch. The kids can play on the carousel. Right now, they're playing in this park, which is awesome that they have it. Um, and yeah, so that should be the two hours, hopefully, and that way we could repark and then go see Independent Hall. So hopefully he walks past us. All right, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh, it's going back. Yes, it's going back. there we go. So this is how we're gonna estimate exactly how long we're gonna be in this line. Let's see where he places the one hour sign. It looks like we may be about 35, 40 minutes. Cause he put that sign pretty far back, thank you. And bodies. Citizens. like an oil-based kind of preservative. And back then, that was the only way to preserve the wood because it'd be outside. It'd be underneath the eaves of the steeple. So it'd be rain, wind, snow, all kind of hitting it. So the reason why it's dark is that it's that they put creosote on it. But it was a really, really big tree. And if you look really carefully, you can actually kind of like see the rings and the cracks and everything else like that. So that was a huge tree that they cut down to um, to make the yolk. Is it the original? We have no idea. Um, when the bell was made, this was just a bell. It was just a bell. It wasn't special, it wasn't known and famous. So they did document everything, like every nut, bolt, and everything else. So that's why we don't specifically know if it's the original. National Flag Week, so the first 100 guests get in free. 
It is the longest continually inhabited what, street? street street in North America. In North America. And the gentleman that we just met over at the Betsy Ross house told us to go down this little alley that was over here on the side here. It looks like it's called Bladen's Court or Bladen's Court. Horrible with names, so please forgive me. But check this out, guys. This is historic. So we're here off 2nd and Market Street. Uh, this place came highly recommended from the security guard at Independence Hall. We are at O Brother, and O Brother is good. So I got the A1 cheesesteak sandwich. My wife got the traditional. Some fried pickles. My fried pickles. We have Nutella shakes going on over here. We have Oreo 
cookies and cream shakes. How was it? Uh -oh, really I, good. I, I attracted birds now. I gave them a crap. They're coming. But this is good. <laughs>
We are at the Treetop Adventure Tours. I have to recheck that name, but we are in the trees. It is a ropes and zip line course oh for ages seven and up. And thankfully, our daughter is seven years old. We just went through the training, which actually went fairly smooth. Yeah. But we're gonna see what the real thing is like. Obviously, we're gonna start at level one. If there was a level 0.5, we may even go there, but let's check this out. Gosh, yes. Here in Philly, and we just finished zip lining and tree climbing and all that stuff. Super terrifying for me. <laughs> yeah, and me. <laughs> Definitely reaffirmed my fear of heights, but hey, I got over it a little bit. For sure, the kids loved it, but since we're all sweaty and kind of yucky, we thought we'd knock out one more thing for today. One more. And it's the infamous Rocky Steps, which are right behind me at oh, yeah. the Art Museum. Ooh. Which of us do you think is going to be the fastest? We'll find out.